Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading. It will be for May 2021, though I am releasing these a little bit early. So from now to the end of May 2021 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And remember, it won't resonate with everybody, so just tell you what resonates with you. Let's pull your first card and see what we have in terms of money, career, finances for Leo. Thank you. Money, career, finances only, thank you, for Leo, May 2021. This is the Tarot Grand Lux. What do we have for Leo? Thank you, angels, spirits, guides, message for Leo. So the Eight of Swords, I'm going to clarify that. Okay, thank you, okay. Nine of Wands. Is your overarching energy, Leo. Message for Leo, please. Angel spirits, guides in money and career finances. Okay, thank you. Oh, love it. We have talent. And message for Leo. Yeah, we have words of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you will attract for yourself and others. Okay. Could be some affirmations here needed as well, Leo. For those of you who like affirmations. Okay, so I'm going to pull five cards. I'm using classic Rider Waite. That was the um, Tarot Grand Lux that I used for the overarching energy. So what do we have for Leo, please, in Money, Career, Finances, May 2021, please? What does Leo need to hear the most? Money, Career, Finances for Leo, thank you. What do we... Okay, thank you. So I've got the Ace of Cups in the Challenge position and the Five of Swords. Nine of Wands again. That's appeared twice now. This is what's going for you. Obstacles to overcome the Page of Cups. The Empress is the advice from Spirit. Nice energy. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. That is beautiful. Okay, Leo. So, Leo, uh, this is an energy of I've been tested, I've been working really hard, I'm exhausted, I don't see the end in sight, I don't see how I'm going to get out of this situation of negativity, I don't see how something's going to unfold, the situation is futile. However, the Nine of Wands is an energy of you are one step away. There is just one thing to overcome and you're home dry, you know? So it's a card of perseverance. Don't get so much in your own head that it causes doubt, fear, you know, um, throwing in the towel because the Nine of Wands is actually one before the ten. And it feels in this situation you are one step away from getting to your goal. It's closer than you think. Yeah. And I'm just seeing that with this, Leo. You know, the Ace of Cups is something that it feels to do with, I mean, it can be to do with creative opportunity or an opportunity close to your heart. Something that you really, really want to manifest. And then we have this negative thinking with the Five of Swords. 
you know it, it there's this feeling of it's, it doesn't feel like it's going to happen here you know the five of swords can be about the conflict in the mind and the message with the five of swords when it's like that and i'm definitely feeling this energy because the swords is to do with the mind how we perceive something how we look at something our thoughts our perceptions um and there's definitely an energy here leo of don't let that hold you back. Don't let, let this hold you back. Uh, because there's definitely an energy here of you are being shown love and light by the universe with the Ace of Cups. You know, this is the chalice that is open to receive the love and light that's been poured into it by the universe. So there's definitely an energy of don't doubt that this isn't going to happen, you know? I'm definitely getting this energy here. Now, yes, this can also be to do with conflict. Um, seeing if I get anything else with that card. Anything else with that card at all? I'm just feeling, Leo, in this situation that you're one step away from getting to where you want to be. The Nine of Wands is a card of, again, it's just one step away and this is what's going for you. The, the goal is closer than you think. It feels in this situation that a shiny new beginning is, is coming your way. But there may well be one thing to do. It could be one meeting to have, one form to fill in, one project to do, one presentation to do, you know. It can be all those kind of things as well, you know. And it's just about persevering, keep on going. Because it feels the, the, the completion, the goal is closer than you think. The Page of Cups is somebody who believes that it's possible to get that Ace of Cups. You know, the Page of Cups can be to do with a message um, where things start looking up. You know, it can be a positive message coming your way. Um, it can be a creative opportunity, like I said, to do a message coming your way. But it feels like in this energy, you're just... You're just one step away. You're just one step away. I'm going to get one for this page of cups. One step away. Yeah, it's, it, it, there's definitely... This, the seven of cups is a card of hopes, dreams and wishes. And the page of cups, I definitely feel in this energy, is holding one of those hopes, dreams and wishes. So... There's definitely some kind of opportunity that's linked to your hope, dreams and wishes that is coming your way. So there's definitely an energy of don't doubt that, Leo. Don't doubt that here. Because the Empress, and this is the advice from Spirit, is all about incoming abundance. She is to do with um, sowing new seeds for future growth. She can be the birth of something new, very good in terms of money areas. Um, so it feels for some of you, the spirit is signaling the abundance is coming your way. And she is a new energy. She is a new energy. Now, for some of you, you could also be dealing with a powerful female in business. Uh, a powerful female could be influential in bringing this abundance in. Um, but it definitely feels in this energy, it just feels in this energy, this emperance is, uh, you have the opportunity to create a new reality for yourself. There's a message of perseverance, but something is about to look up and don't doubt that. Don't think negatively about that, you know, don't let that negativity own you to the point where you don't see it you know it definitely feels in this energy a hope dream on wish is available to you there's just perseverance that's needed yeah so she's a great energy of, of abundance uh really beautiful abundance coming your way 
And the Knight of Pentacles as an outcome is somebody making you an offer. I love it. I mean, I don't think I've seen that. I don't think the Knights appeared so far um, in any of the readings. So the Knight of Pentacles is is someone making you an offer. It certainly hasn't appeared a lot. Um, but the Knight brings change. And this Knight can be job offers. This can be to do with business opportunities, a client win, a contract being offered to you. So whatever resonates for you, but it's bringing positive change. The thing about the knight, he is the slowest moving of the knight, so you can feel a bit stagnated with this knight of pentacles, but this is a solid offer coming your way. So it feels in this situation very beautiful, very, very beautiful, Leo. You are one step away, one step away from abundance, from an offer or an opportunity coming your way that is absolutely linked to your hopes, dreams and wishes. Things are about to lock up, so don't get down. Don't get down on yourself. Don't think it's not going to happen. Don't start doubting. There's a lot of doubt in this energy. You know, doubting, doubting, doubting. I feel somebody is... This is about knowing your talent um, and maybe being recognised this month for what you do, for your talent. Yeah, beautiful energy. Whatever words you used in whatever context this month, use positive words. There's an energy of don't vocalise the negative in whatever situation, whether that's in meetings, there's, or whether that's to do with your own situation. You know how we talk to ourselves sometimes. This is about just trying to be positive here as much as possible. Yeah. But definitely there's a, an offer that brings change. You know, somebody's making you an offer. You are one step away. So we have Owl Sight. Yeah, you see, I love that with that an Eight of Swords because they don't see. You know, this is somebody where the negative owns them to the point where they don't see past the end of their nose, past the end of the negative. So the Owl energy is Sight. Detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control. Yeah, and focus on what you can. But... Yeah, lovely and lovely energy, Leo. I mean, it feels very, very beautiful indeed. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.